The ability for police to collect DNA when a person is arrested. That one provision got voted down, but the larger bill was approved several times during the hearing today. Some in the audience began verbalizing their opposition to portions of the bill, leaving the council chairman to threaten to clear the hearing room. We can uh, clear the chamber, which I really don't want to do, but this is, this is not a public meeting. I'm sorry, but this is a meeting of the council that's open to the public. An overflow crowd filled the council chamber and the hallway outside during today's vote on the crime bill. Kia Duggins was among the dozens of activists and residents who came to the council vote to voice their opposition to the crime bill. The act seeks to expand pretrial detention, which means putting legally innocent people into cages pretrial. We're also opposing the anti-mask section of the bill. The bill is attempting to criminalize youth for wearing masks in public. And last but certainly not least, we're here to oppose the drug-free zone section of the Secure DC bill, which seeks to allow police to arrest people without probable cause to racially profile people. Councilmember Kenya McDuffie expressed his concerns about the provision that would allow police to swab suspects for DNA samples at the time of their arrests. The privacy rights of the innocent should be preserved and let us not forget we are all innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> After debate, the council voted 9-4 to four to remove the DNA provision from the bill, but then approved the overall bill. Among the provisions included in the bill that was approved, increased penalties for some gun crimes, making it easier for judges to detain adults and juveniles charged with violent crimes while they await trial. It would redefine when police are allowed to engage in car chases, expands the definition of what a carjacking is, and it expands retail theft charges. The bill now faces a second vote, most likely next month. Important to note that that second vote, there will be some changes between now and that second vote next year uh, in the bill. And while this did pass on first vote unanimously, uh, Ward 8 Council Member Trayon White did not vote yes or no. He voted present uh, for this bill, for this vote today. And the biggest issue still remaining is funding. Some of the provisions in this bill are unfunded, and Mayor Bowser has not fully committed to putting all of this in her budget. So still a lot of things to be worked out before uh, this bill becomes law and actually hits the road. And of course, you'll be covering for us. Thank you, Mark. Mark Seagrave's report.